Great to have you read. Um, uh, pretty tough act to follow up if you read, how maybe that speaks there. Um, it's great to be here today, and um, I want to congratulate, congratulate uh, my friend, uh, Mr. Hansra, on this fifth uh, annual gala. Um, I come from Surrey, and uh, Surrey is very similar to Brampton. So, uh, Madam Mayor, I'm not going to be moving out to Brampton anytime soon. Um, what if you talk about Canada? You know, Canada is a very uh, diverse country, and I think a number of speakers talk about this. And often that diversity is, is reflected through media. And uh, I'm very proud to say that, uh, that uh, the Hustler Group has been very courageous and very bold in reflecting and giving voice to the community so that we can have, we can talk about just, you know, issues that are often ignored by, uh, you know, governments, often ignored by, uh, you know, other entities in our, in our country. So, providing a voice, a venue for people to give them their uh, uh, voice, uh, whether it's uh, their grievances, whether it's uh, uh, their social causes. So, I'm very thankful that uh, the Hansford Group has been very, very, uh, uh, proactive, providing that voice to the people to so they can voice that out to the, the, the interested parties, whether it's governments, whether it's other organizations. Um, I'm, I'm, I want to talk about a little bit about, you know, uh, um, Mr. Becker, uh, he talked about, you know, we are very prosperous uh, community, Sikh community, I know I see that reflected in this room, and I see that across this country, that we have been very uh, the community has played a very active role in uh, developing this wonderful country, you know, whether it's economically, culturally. Uh, our forefathers have played a very, very important role over the years. Uh, I want to talk about an, an issue uh, that is still, still a blemish in our, you know, in our history, Canadian history, and that, that issue is of the Kamagara Maru. And I want to just reflect, go back a little bit of the history. In 2008, there was a, bi a regulation that was introduced in, by, the, the, by the federal government that basically restricted um, South Asians coming to Canada. The regulation was basically that you had to dra travel directly from the country of origin to Canada. And that regulation only applied on the West Coast, on the Pacific Ocean. That regulation did not apply uh, to uh, to Eastern or Atlantic Coast. So it's very it's an open secret. This was a discriminatory policy that was put in place in 1908 and it lasted until 1947 until India was uh, uh, became independent. So it was for 39 years that regulation was in place. So uh, to challenge that regulation and the symbol of that struggle was the Kamagamaru. Uh, the Kapagara Maru was a, a ship that was chartered by by Singh out of Hong Kong, and they had they went from Hong Kong to Shanghai to Japan, and they gathered about 376 passengers. Of whom 20, 340 were Sikhs, and 24 were Hindus, and 12 were Muslims. And they came into Vancouver 98 years ago last Wednesday, which was uh, May 23rd, and for the first two weeks. Um, they weren't even allowed to get basic necessities of life, which is, you know, food and water. They weren't, they weren't allowed to get that. They weren't even allowed to get uh, health care or doctors to look at uh, some of the worsening conditions on the, on the ship itself. So, uh, 20 of those passengers were returning passengers. They were you know, allowed to disembark. The rest of them were escorted out of the Barari that in Vancouver with the military ships out, out of the Canadian waters. And when the ship arrived in India back in 1914, September, uh, they were further, further, the British Raj police uh, fired upon them, 90 were killed at that time. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, for many, many years, the South Asian community has been asking uh, the governments of the times to have a closure for this uh, terrible, terrible tragedy that happened in Canada. Uh, they've asked me, uh, I've had a chance to travel throughout this country, uh, whether it's, you know, Toronto area, Brampton, Edmonton, Winnipeg, Calgary, Montreal. 
the community has been very, very united with regards to getting uh, us in the government to do one thing. That is basically a, a very honorable, dignified apology in the House of Commons. And the community has been asking us for that for many, many years. However, successive governments over the years, uh, you know, we had a, a, a incident back in 2008 where the Prime Minister, uh, instead of, you know, apologizing in the House of Commons, he made a political statement in the, in the House of Commons. So last Friday, um, the NDP uh, introduced a, a motion in the House of Commons. Uh, and uh, that motion was debated and it's coming up for vote this coming Monday. And uh, my, my request to the community is that, that we call your members of parliament, let them know what the community wants. I think there's still some members in our community or members of parliament that, that think that this is not an issue in our community. So I ask all of my, my colleagues here, friends here, members from the community, the leaders from the community, to get a hold of the members of parliament and let them know that uh, this is an important issue for our community, that we need to have a closure so the process of healing and reconciliation can begin and then we, we can learn from our, from our history and move on and have it there in our history, that's in the House of Commons. So, I want to come back to you again, I want to thank uh, Mr. Hansar for giving me the opportunity to, to talk to you. I know there is another event being planned for tomorrow at 3 o'clock, and I ask everyone here to come out and, and uh, we can further discuss the common government moderation and how it is important to uh, the, the history of uh, not only Canada, but also in particular the history of South Asia in Canada itself. So again, congratulations and Mr. Hansar. Uh, for giving people the voice that they deserve, that they, they can have a voice that can be heard, and, and I would say I very much appreciate your, your giving me the opportunity here today. Thank you very much. Bye, Mr. Kassa. Bye, Mr. Kassa.